Hi everyone, Craig from Get Out There Magazine, and these are the New Balance Minimus Zero. Brand new for summer 2012, and another great minimalist shoe option from New Balance. Their slogan is, like barefoot, but better. And based on my experience in these shoes, that's spot on. I've been wearing these shoes for about three months, mostly on shorter runs up to about 10K or so. I've tested them on concrete, asphalt, and gravel. Being my second pair of minimalist shoes, I'm still transitioning from cushioning to minimalist shoes. To do that, I've slowly built up my mileage and even worn them for day-to-day -day use to make sure my feet can build up the necessary strength. The Minimus Zero is a zero drop shoe, meaning that the heel is not raised relative to your forefoot, which is a central element of minimalist running. The only thing between your feet and the ground is a Vibram sole and a very thin layer of New Balance's proprietary Revlite foam, resulting in a very low stack height of just 12 millimeters. The Revlite provides the slightest bit of cushioning, but only a fraction of what you'd be used to from a traditional running shoe. Running on soft shoulders along the road, where I do much of my running, was entirely comfortable. I could feel larger rocks underneath, but it wasn't painful. In fact, I actually like being able to feel such things because it makes me more in touch with the ground and I can focus on my toes spreading and pushing off the ground. The toe box on these shoes is wide and provides lots of room for that to happen. The Vibram sole looks cool all on its own and provided great traction through all the running I've done in them. The upper is a breathable mesh on top of this honeycomb-like structure that doesn't have too much to it, contributing to the light weight. And this tongue is attached just on one side and adds to the snug fit and makes even the experience of putting them on feel like something special. The shoe is constructed with welded seams and no sewing except for the back of the heel. The lining of the shoe is also simple and minimal in its own right as they are designed to be worn barefoot and the opportunities for blisters and chafing were designed right out of these shoes. I was very comfortable running barefoot in them. With all the technical specs aside, these shoes just feel so natural and fit my feet so very well. And they're so light and fit so naturally, it feels just like putting on a pair of slippers. I love running and I do so five to six days a week, but every time I plan to wear these shoes, I look forward to the run all that much more. Being lighter, they should contribute to your speed, but I definitely found a psychological boost that made me feel faster. To wrap it up, if you're looking for a great barefoot running experience, but want just a touch of midsole between you and the ground, then the New Balance Minimus Zero could be a great shoe for you. I'm Craig from Get Out There Magazine, and be sure to check out our gear review channel on YouTube for lots of other reviews on items suitable for endurance sports and outdoor recreation.